What's up bros? Welcome to another BroGraph tutorial. I'm Dave Koss. Today I wanted to show you the difference between doing HDRI skies in R15 and R16. There's some changes that have happened and if you are used to using the old HDR uh, presets that are already in your content library in R15 and you move over to 16 you're probably wondering where did some of that stuff go. I'll tell you one uh, example is my HDR004, which I use all the time for all sorts of stuff, is actually uh, a little bit different in R16. So I had to figure out a way to change my workflow and kind of keep what I was using. But it's fairly simple. Here's the difference. Here's R15 right here. And if you wanted to create a sky, uh, let's put an object in. I'm going to put uh, a cube. And I'm just going to turn on full reflection so we can see what's going on here put that full mirrored reflection on here. If you make a sky and then you want to bring in an HDR object uh, like a sky, you go to your content browser, you click on presets, and you do a search, you type in HDRI, here's what you would get before. You would get this listing here and it had all of these skies. And number four was my personal favorite, still is. I call it the winery. Now if you double click you immediately get that as a texture and then if you drag it onto your sky you're good to go so you know you, you uh, navigate your viewport you can see the reflections going here on the cube everything's good to go that's how I did it before but when I got to R16 I was like where did it go so here's where it went I'm gonna go to 16 and I'm gonna do the same thing cube I'm going to turn on uh, reflectance. We've got a little bit different workflow here. Okay, put reflection on. And again, I'm going to make a sky. Now, if I go to the content browser, I go to presets, and I search for HDRI, enter, here's what I get. Where do they go? Right? So here's the first thing. You want to type in HDR, not the I, and then you get a listing. There's number four. You can see it right there. But here's the thing. If I double click on it, it just opens it in the picture viewer. I can see it because it's just the HDR file. It's not a material that had that mapped onto it already. So all you got to do is create a new texture down here, a new material, and go to basic. You're going to turn off color. You're going to turn off reflectance and just turn on the luminance only. You're basically recreating what was in R15. And when you go to luminance, you've got where a texture would usually go. You've got this blank bar right here. And if you just drag that HDR into it, there it is. You drag that onto your sky, you got the same exact thing. So just in case you were wondering where that went, that's what happened to it. That's where it is. And if you didn't know about that, well, welcome. I'll show you something else real quick while we're at it. The best way to use this as well is to go in here and create a layer and it's going to put that uh, HDR into its own uh, set of layers and you can add an effect. I always add brightness contrast and I add saturation. I always pull the saturation all the way out and I bring the brightness up a little bit and I actually want less contrast and that is how I use the HDRI sky in Cinema 4D. So there's the difference. Hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to get more of these tutorials, tips, there's long ones, there's short ones, there's BroGraph talks, there's experiments, fun with BroGraph, all sorts of stuff we're doing. Uh, if you check out our YouTube trailer, you'll actually kind of get a good overview of what we're doing on this channel. And uh, we're on YouTube, we're on Vimeo, we are in the Cinema 4D subreddit all the time. Please subscribe to us. Uh, if you want to get these on the reg and uh, Facebook, Twitter, we're on there as well. And we post a link to everything we do on there. Until next time, have a good one. Later, bros. It's pretty good, I guess.